There are some reasons and scenarios where you might want to consider making your own beam from 2x6 lumber instead of going with the typical 4x6 lumber that everybody does. Depending a lot on where you live in the country, it can be pretty tough nowadays to find suitable 4x6 lumber for the beam of your swing set. Your only available selection may have big knots, big cracks, or big splits. Or you may have to special order one in, but it could be costly and you won't know what you'll get. Or maybe you want a fatter, stronger beam to be able to run a little bit longer span between the brackets. The beam on this set is 16 feet long and it spans 13 and a half feet from the far side of one bracket to the far side of the other bracket. And that's a longer span than you would want to do with a typical 4x6 beam. So I'll show you here how I make the beam for this set. Okay, this set is going to use a 16 foot beam and since a 4x6 lumber in that length wouldn't be strong enough and a 6x6 would be hard to find, I'm going to make my own beam out of 2x6 lumber. 2x6 lumber is readily available. I can pick out the nicest pieces and a beam made like this won't twist and crack like a big 6x6 could. For this, I'll use a whole box of this Deckmate 2.5 inch deck screw. Comes with a Torx bit instead of a Phillips head screw, which are a lot easier to drive in. I like driving all the screws in from the same side so that my beam has no screw heads showing on one side. And here's my spacing for the screws. After you drive the screws from one board to the next, you then mark the sides of the board with where those screws went so that when you put the next board on top you won't run into the same screws. Because the screws of the next board you shift about a half inch over from where you marked. And repeat. And here you have the finished beam. Now these brackets here will work with a beam of any width, like the beam we just made of four 2x6s. They will fit any lumber that is about five and a half inches tall, but the width can be any. These brackets are made with much thicker steel than all the rest. It's almost an eighth inch thick. They are one of the very few brackets with a 60 degree angle between the legs so that you don't have to set the feet in concrete so that the set won't tip. You just set the bracket where you want it, in this case flush to the end. Then you drill just halfway through the beam. Flip the beam over and place the other bracket flush to the end of the beam. Mark the hole and then drill all the way through to connect the two holes. On this end of the beam I have the beam overhanging 30 inches past the bracket. Place the bracket at the 30 inch mark, mark the hole and drill halfway through. Flip the beam over, put the bracket at the same 30 inch mark, mark the hole and drill. Then tighten and then drive in screws. I like using these headlock screws which are a strong structural fastener. And attach all four legs with the same fasteners. And then stand it up. 
get plenty of people to help you with this and be really careful because not only is it a very tall set it's a heavy beam as well and then be sure to add the horizontal cross pieces and there you have it a nice looking beam made out of 2 by 6 lumber I used four boards for this longer span you can use three boards for anything up to about a 12 foot span maybe even 13 feet I don't recommend spanning more than 14 feet nor do I recommend using more than four boards just because the beam gets so heavy and if you want to see my next fun projects please like and subscribe and you can go to my website roomtozoom.com for complete lists and links to everything you need to build this crazy fun swing set. And to see other great play sets you can make.